Welcome sa course na Fluid Mechanics, so tayo mga problems tungkol sa buoyancy. Part 1, problem number 1. A 5 cm by 12 cm by 6 m long wooden plank is required to stand vertically in the water with its top 15 cm above the water surface. This is attained by attaching 1 cm thick steel plates to each wider side of the plank at the submerged bottom. Compute the exact length of steel plates needed. The weight of wood is 502 kg per cubic meters and water density is 1,002 kg per cubic meters. Weight of steel is 7,870 kg per cubic meters. Yung sinabing weight dyan, nakalagay na density, no? So, pwedeng interchangeably. Basta may unit ka, okay lang yan. So, maroon daw tayong wood, wooden plank, na submerged or required to stand vertically in the water. Tapos, may... Uh, 15 centimeters or 0.15 meters above the water surface. So yung nakasubmerge, so 6 meters minus 0.15 meters. Magagawa daw yun kapag nilagyan ng 1 centimeter thick steel plates to each wider side. Yung wider side, yun yung 12 centimeters. So doon nakakabit yung mga uh, 1 centimeter thick steel plates. Ang required kung ano yung length ng steel plates. So yun yung nasa figure. Ito yung nasa given. So, volume ng wood, so 0 0.05 by 0 0.12 by 6 meters. So, kinonvert na lang sa meters para madaling mag-solve ng problem. Tapos, yung volume naman ng steel, so dahil dalawang sides, so dalawang 1 centimeter or 0 0.01 meters by 0 0.12 meters, tapos yung required na length. Yung given din na density is density ng wood, so 502 kilograms per cubic meters, Density ng water is so 1,002 kg per cubic meters. Tapos yung density ng steel so 7,870 kg per cubic meters. So solve natin gamit yung uh, concept na to. Yung summation force vertical equal to zero. Upward forces equal to downward forces. Yung upward force, so yun yung buoyant force. Tapos yung downward force, yung weight ng steel. So force uh, dahil sa steel. Tapos yung force dahil sa wood or yung weights nila. So, buoyant force equal sa downward forces na weight ng wood tsaka yung weight ng steel. So, buoyant force, unit weight ng fluid multiplied dun sa volume ng fluid displaced. Tapos, equal dun sa so, gamma times volume din ng mga uh, wood pati ng steel. At yung volume displaced, equal yun sa volume ng wood submerged na plus yung total volume ng steel. In volume ng wood submerged, so 0 0.05 times 0 0.12 times yung depth na 6 minus 0 0.15. So yun ay 0 0.05 times 0 0.12 times 6 minus 0 0.15. So volume ng wood submerged, so 0 0.0351 cubic meters. So substitute natin, so yung mga unit weight, so rho g or density times acceleration due to the gravity so lahat naman ng terms may acceleration due to the gravity so tinanggal ko na na to divide all sides dun sa acceleration due to the gravity so density ng water times dun sa volume displaced which is 0 0.351 plus yung volume ng steel equal dun sa weight ng uh, wood submerged plus yung weight ng steel so gamitan lang natin ng konting algebra so subtract both sides ng 502 na times 0 0.05 times 0 0.12 times 6 tapos divide yung coefficient ng uh, volume ng steel in which yun yung uh, 7870 tsaka yung uh, 1002 so therefore uh, 1002 times 0 0.0351 minus 502 times 0 0.05 times 0 0.12 times 6 over 7870 minus 1002 so the volume ng steel so start ko na lang to sa A so yun na lang yung kailangan natin so volume ng steel tapos makukuha na yung length ng steel plates so substitute lang so therefore yung nakastore sa A over 2 times 0 0.01 times 0.12 so therefore, length ng steel plates ay 1.0373 meters. Problem number 2. A vertical cylindrical tank open at the top is used as a buoy. 
The cylinder has a diameter of 1.10 meters, a height of 2.4 meters, and a weight of 3.825 newtons. Determine the following: the weight of an object, in which the unit weight known is 110 kilonewtons per cubic meters, must be attached to the bottom of the tank so that the tank is submerged by 1.9 meters in fresh water. Next, the weight of the object. Yung para no, unit weight 110 kilonewtons per cubic meters sa inside naman ng tank na submerged then 1.9 meters per na submerged then yung tank ng 1.9 meters in fresh water. Yung isa, kapag naman nakalagay sa loob ng tank, ano yung weight ng object na yun na may unit weight na 110 kilonewtons per cubic meter, uh, kapag naman lubog ng maigi or nasa flush na dun sa water surface yung top ng tank. So yung unang scenario, given yung diameter ng tank, 1.10 meters, tapos yung uh, height ng tank na 2.4 meters, yung weight ng tank, given na 3 to 5, hahanapin yung weight ng object na naka-attach sa bottom ng tank, ngayon ang nasa figure, para maging submerged ng 1.9 meters in fresh water yung tank. So, meron tayong buoyant force directed upwards. So, summation of force vertical or vertical forces is equal to zero when upward forces are equal sa downward forces. Upward force ay yung buoyant force equal sa downward force na weight ng object plus yung weight ng tank. So, yung buoyant force, unit weight ng fresh water times yung volume displaced equal yun sa weight ng object plus yung weight ng tank. So, volume displaced equal yun sa volume ng object plus yung volume na nakasubmerge ng tank. Volume ng object, pwedeng sabihin na weight ng object over uh, unit weight. Dahil yung unit weight equals sa weight over volume. Tapos naman yung volume ng tank na submerge. So dahil cylinder, so yung volume nun, so area ng base times yung height kung saan ka man. So area ng base, so pi d squared over 4. Multiply sa 1.9 dahil yun yung nakasubmerge. So therefore, so 9.81 times yung uh, volume displaced na uh, volume ng object. So W sub O yung weight ng object over unit weight ng object. Yung 110 kN per cubic meters plus yung volume ng tank submerge. Para dun sa volume displaced. So pi d squared over 4, d is 1.10. Tapos yung height na 1.90. So equal sa weight ng object plus yung given na weight ng tank which is 3.25 kN. So ang gagawin lang dyan lahat ng constant sa isang side tapos yung mga may variable na W sub O sa isang side. Tapos uh, divide na lang both sides dun sa magiging coefficient ng W sub O or yung weight ng object para makuha yung sagot or yung weight ng object. So, ganito. So, 9.81 times uh, pi times 1.10 squared over 4 times 1.9t. I nasa loob sa left side. Tapos, minus yung 3.825 na nasa right side. So, divide, I'm subtract both sides. And then, over yung coefficient. So, yung W sub O sa right. So, 1. Minus 9.81 over 110. Yun nasa left. So, subtract both sides doon. So, therefore, weight ng object sa ganyang configuration ay 15.2480 and so on kilonewtons. Next scenario naman, ganito. Nasa loob naman ng tank. So, summation ng vertical forces equal to zero. Upward forces equal sa downward forces. So, ganito rin yung mga equations. So, volume displaced naman yung volume lang ng tank na submerge in which nakompute na kanina. So, mas simple yung equation. So, therefore, 9.81 times yung volume ng tank submerge. So, pi times yung d na 1.10 squared over 4 times yung depth na submerge yung tank, which is 1.9t. Then, minus, dahil subtract both sides ng 3825. So, therefore, weight ng object sa ganyang configuration, so 13.8882 kilonewtons. So, mas magaan lang yung kailangan kapag nasa loob dahil uh, mali less yung uh, volume na displaced. So, mababawasan yung required buoyant force or yung re- reaction ng uh, water in which yun yung buoyant force. 
kapag ganitong configuration naman, so nasa loob ulit ng tank. So, same equations. So, volume naman displaced ay yung total volume ng tank in which maso pa d squared over 4 tapos yung depth so yung total height na ng tank in which yun yung 2.4 meters. So, equation. So, ganun din. Papaltan lang yung 1.19 ng 2.4. So, pi times 1.1 squared over 4 times 2.4 then minus 3825. So, weight ng object para flush yung top ng tank sa water surface. So, 18.5496 kilonewtons. Problem number 3. Piece of metal weighs 350 newton in air and 240 newtons in water. Determine the following. Volume ng metal, unit weight, pati yung specific gravity. So, in air, kapag tinimbang mo yung uh, object, yung metal, so 350 newtons. So, ganito yung configuration nun. So, weight ng object, tapos yung pagtimbang mo, so 350 newtons. So, kapag naman submerge sa water, so ganito naman yung itsura. So, pag tinimbang mo siya, kinuha mo yung weight, so 240 newtons na lang. Dahil meron ka ng buoyant force. So, ano yung, yung una is yung volume ng object at unit weight, pati specific gravity. So, summation ng force vertical equal to zero. Upward force equal sa downward forces. So, buoyant force plus 240 is equal to weight ng object. So, yung buoyant force, unit weight ng water, times yung volume displaced, in which yun yung volume ng object or volume ng metal. So, plus 240 newtons equal dun sa weight ng object, yun yung 350 newtons. So, therefore, so 350 minus 240 over 9810 dahil naka newtons. So, volume ng objects, store ko na lang sa A. So, 0 0.0112 and so on cubic meters. So, para naman sa unit weight ng object, equal yun sa weight over volume. So, ma weight na na 350 newtons. Yung volume, and yan na rin. So, 350 over yung nakastore sa A, na volume ng metal. So, in store ko na lang din sa B. So, unit weight ay 31.2136. 3636. So, dapat pala yan ay kilonewtons per cubic meters. So, specific gravity. So, unit weight ng object over yung unit weight ng water. So, 9.81. So, therefore, specific gravity is 3.18. 181818. And so on. Problem number 4. So, a wooden beam floating in water is pivoted along a hedge. As shown, the beam of unitary length is in equilibrium in the geometric configuration shown. Calculate the relative specific weight of the wood neglecting friction at the pivot. Assume, unit weight ng water, 9.80. Yung L, 1 meter. Tapos yung D, ay 0.50. So, ito yung forces na mag a dun sa wooden beam. So, unitary length, so 1 meter towards the screen or yung paper, yung width ng uh, beam. So, meron tayo yung weight, yung buoyant force, pati yung hydrostatic force. Dahil isang side lang nung beam yung uh, submerged. So, ang kailangan yung relative specific weight or specific gravity ng beam. So, yung gagawin natin, summation ng moment sa pivot, equal to zero, counterclockwise equals sa clockwise moment. Yung counterclockwise moment, so yun yung weight, times L over 2, equal sa buoyant force, times L over 2, plus yung hydrostatic force, at yung location nun ay one-third, no? so D over 3. So, weight is equal to unit weight ng beam, times yung volume. In which yung volume, dahil nga beam of unitary length, so 1 meter lahat. So 1 cubic meters. So length is equal to 1 meter. And then yung buoyant force ay equal sa unit weight ng water times volume displaced. Yung volume displaced hanggang dun lang sa depth D. In which uh, 0.5 yung D. So 0.5 times 1 times 1. So 0.5 cubic meters. And then yung hydrostatic force, so P centroid times the area. So yung pressure sa centroid, unit weight ng water given na 9.80. 
Tapos, centroid, so gitna ng D, so 0.5 over 2, times yung area, so yung surface na 0.5 times yung 1 meter na width ng beam. So, 9.80 times uh, 0.5 over 2, times 0.5 times 1. So, 1.225 yung uh, hydrostatic force. Circle na lang din sa A. So, substitute na natin. So, unit weight ng beam times yung volume 1 times yung 1, yung 1 meter length. So, 1 over 2 equal sa yung buoyant force. So, unit weight ng water 9.80 times yung volume displaced, yun yung 0.5, times L over 2. So, 1 over 2 din. Plus yung hydrostatic force, so 1.225, times D over 3, so 0.5 over 3. So, therefore, unit weight ng beam, so 9.80 times 0.5, times 1 half, plus 1.225, yun nakastore sa A, So, 0.5 over 3, and then times 2. So, 5.30833 kilonewtons per cubic meters. So, para makuha yung specific gravity, so unit weight ng beam over unit weight ng water. So, 5.3083 over 9.8. So, answer over 9.8. So, therefore, specific gravity or yung relative specific weight ay 0.54. One six 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 six.